Hello, dear students, and welcome to this lesson. Today, we are going to learn body parts and health problems. Before we start the lesson, please take with you your textbook window on the world, a notebook of your choice, and of course, a pen. Now, the first part of this lesson should be body parts. Body parts. I'm going to leave you with a video that should introduce all or most of the body parts and then I meet you after you learn them. Head, head, face, face, eye, eyes. Eyebrow, eyebrows, cheek, cheeks, mouth, mouth. Chin, chin, forehead, forehead. Nose, lip, lips, air, airs. Neck, neck, shoulder, shoulders, elbow, elbows. Hip, hips, forearm, forearms, chest, chest. Arm, arms, hand, hands, palm, palms. Wrist, wrists, thumb, thumbs, thumb. 
finger, fingers. Knee, knees. Leg, legs. Foot, feet. Thigh, thighs. Shin, shins. Toe, toes. Calf, calves. Ankle, ankles. Heel, heels. Now that you have learned most of the body parts, let's go and practice using this exercise. So, look at the pictures, then fill in the blanks with the correct body parts. An example is given. So, these are the pictures. As you can see, and in front of every picture, there should be a sentence to describe the picture. So Kim smells the flower with her what? The second picture, oh my hurts. Next. In the mm -hmm, of Kelly, there is a nice ring. Next, Jack carries the guitar on his. Next, the of the player hurts. Next, he hits the ball with his what his are swollen they are walking on their and they complete Nadia listens to music with her The fisher holds the fish with his. So, as we have said before, an example is given. So, let's see the first one. In the picture, you see a girl or a lady, and she smells a flower. So, we usually smell the flower with what? Yes, so Kim smells the flower with her nose. With her nose. Correct. So all you have to do is look at the pictures again and try to fill in the blanks with the body parts that you have learned before. And please keep in mind that according to the context of the sentence, you have to choose between singular form and plural form of each body part.
In order to solve this exercise, I'm going to give you a few seconds. up and we should move to the correction. So the first picture, Kim smells the flower with her nose, it is already answered. The second picture, oh my shoulder hurts. Number three, in the in the finger of Kelly there is a mice ring. Jack carries the guitar on his back the the knee of the player hurts uh, please remember that in English in general when a word starts with K and N we don't pronounce K we pronounce N only so the knee of the player hurts next he hits the ball with his head, of course. And his toes are swollen. So we have the body part two with S, which means it's the plural. Because we have the verb to be R, that's why we should or we must put the body parts in the plural form. Again, they are walking on their, so they is plural again, so on their feet. Feet is the plural of foot, as we have seen before. Nadia listens to music with her ears, because she has two ears, that's why we put the word ear in the plural form to become ears. The last one, the fisher holds the fish with his with his hand. So that was the correction of the first exercise. I hope you got uh, most or all of the answers correct. Now we will see the next part of this lesson, which is health problems. So when you are ill or sick, you have a health problem. Before I leave you with the video, uh, please notice that some words or many uh, health problems finish with the word ache. It is like this. It's spelled A, C, H, and E. We say ache, ache, and it stands for pain. So when you have an ache, which means you have a a pain somewhere in your in your body. Uh, you will come across many words or many health problems that finish with the word ache, like for instance, stomach ache, tooth ache, or back ache. So remember to pronounce it uh, correctly, ache. Now it is time to uh, watch a, a short. Uh, video that introduces you to the most of the, the health problems and then we will practice afterwards. I have asthma. Asthma. I have a backache. A backache. I have a broken leg. A broken leg. I have a cold, a cold. I have a cough, <coughs> a cough. I 
have an earache. An earache. I have a fever. A fever. I have the flu. The flu. I have a headache. A headache. I have heartburn. Heartburn. I have measles or I have the measles. Measles. I have a rash. A rash. I have a sore throat. A sore throat. I have a stomach ache. A stomach ache. Notice the difference in spelling. I have sunburn. Sunburn. I have a toothache. A toothache. Now that you have discovered uh, many examples of health problems, we will move to the practice again and we will see this health problem exercise match the pictures with the right health problems. So it is a matching activity. We have a cough, a broken leg, a stomach ache, a sore throat, a headache, and a tooth ache. So uh, these are uh, six examples of health problems that you should uh, match with the correct pictures. In order again to solve this activity, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Good luck. So, time's up. Uh, let us see the correction for this matching activity. So, the first health problem is cough. And cough is this. So, when you have a respiration uh, problem and you make this uh, harsh sound, we call it cough. Next health problem is a broken leg. Again, the body part is leg and it is broken broken leg. Next health problem is stomach ache. So we have seen before that ache is pain and the body part is stomach. That's why his stomach hurts or he has a stomach ache. The following health problem is sore throat. Sore throat. When your throat hurts. And the next one is headache headache so the head is the body part and the pain is ache and it makes a headache like this one when you have a problem or a pain in your head and the last health problem is a tooth ache it is clear that this little girl has trouble or has pain with her teeth that's why we say she has a tooth ache good now we have seen uh, uh, body parts and the practice. After that, we have seen uh, health problems and the practice. 
At this point, we're going to see a mixed exercise in which we will see the, the two parts of the lesson, body parts and health problems in one exercise. So you have to read the text, then fill in the charts appropriately. So we have this text. Uh, I'm going, first of all, to read it for you. So, in the last summer holiday, my family and I went to the beach in Agadir. We woke up early and walked on the beach on our bare feet. I played football until my legs got tired. My little brother could not play for a long time because he had asthma. My mother always asked us to stop running under the sun in order not to get a fever. From time to time, she checked my forehead with her hand to see if I was hot. My father loved to lay on the hot sand because he had a backache. When I swam in the afternoons, I got a sunburn. So I put a lot of sun lotion. I don't know how the salty water always gets into my eyes and my ears. Luckily, I closed my mouth and my nose. Otherwise, water would get into all of my head. Good. Now, uh, we have read the text. And we are asked to uh, fill in the charts appropriately. So these are the charts. The first one is about health problems. So you, you deduce uh, health problems from the text. You take the examples that you have in the text and you write them in the blanks in the first chart. The second one is body parts singular. We have one, two, three, four, five. And the last one is body parts plural form. Uh, now all of these examples are in the text. So you have to take your time and read the text again. Uh, then you fill in the, in the chart. Okay? And pay, pay attention please that there is body part singular and plural so that you don't mix them together. In order to do this, I'm going to give you a few time. See you afterwards. So the time is up again. Let's see this final activities correction. So in order to fill in these charts, we had to reread the text. In the last summer holiday, my family and I went to the beach in Agadir. We woke up early and walked on the beach on our bare feet. Feet. So feet. Is it a health problem, body part, singular or plural? Of course, feet is a body part in the plural form. Let's continue reading. I played football until my legs got tired. Again, the word is legs. So it is a body part in the plural form. My little brother could not play for a long time because he had asthma. Asthma. It is, of course, a health problem. My mother always asked us to stop running under the sun in order not to get a fever. The next word is fever. And it is a health problem. From time to time, she checked my forehead with her hand to see if I was hot. 
So the following word is for head. And it is a body part in the singular form. And the next word also in the same sentence is hand. And it is a body part in the singular. My father loved to lay on hot sand because he had a backache. So backache is the word and it is a health problem. When I swam in the afternoons, I got a sunburn, so I put a lot of sun lotion. So the word is sunburn and it is a health problem. I don't know how the salty water always gets into my eyes and my ears. So we have two words here, eyes, body parts in the plural form, and ears, also a body part in the plural form. Luckily, I closed my mouth and my nose. Here again, we have two words, mouth, which is a singular body part, and nose, which is similar to it, a body part in the singular form. Let's finish now. Otherwise, water would get into all my head. And the word here is head. And it is a singular body part. So this was uh, the last activity in today's lesson. Uh, I hope you have learned well uh, what uh, body parts are and what health problems are. Uh, now, all you have to do is go to uh, your window on the Word uh, textbook and you look for Unit 9 and you do the Expand Your Vocabulary activity in which you are going to use everything that we have learned today. Okay? So, uh, thank you for your attention. I hope I meet you soon in another lesson. Bye-bye for now and take care.